Nobody bothered to tell me. I didn't find any videos. Nobody seems to talk about it, but I can pretty much guarantee this is gonna happen to you as well if you move to Thailand. Welcome back to my lovely office here on Jom Tian Beach. If you didn't get a chance to watch yesterday's video, which I don't know what you're doing, make sure you go do that. Maybe I'll put a link up here, one of these sides, I never get it right. But if you didn't get a chance to watch yesterday's video, I tapped into a little bit why I've been on somewhat of a hiatus for the past week or so. And this is something that I feel like I didn't really learn about before coming here. Granted, I could have done a little bit more research. I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but I didn't really find it. Hopefully, this is the video for you that you found to where you can find what to expect when you get here. If you're moving here and you're coming from the West, you're coming from a different climate, this is something that's gonna happen. And hopefully, I can get you set up so you know what to be ready for. And so hopefully, maybe you can avoid it. Now there's kind of two parts to this. I'll break down both and tell you about my experiences in both. And maybe you can cut some corners and not do the same things that I did. And hopefully, keep everything the way that you like it. So you're doing your research, obviously, because you're watching videos about Thailand. You're probably getting ready to move here or maybe come on an extended vacation. I'm assuming you're coming from the West because that's where most of my viewership is from. You're coming to a new place. You're trying to find things out and what's gonna be different when you get here. Now, of course, there's gonna be things that you don't really think about and you don't really realize until you get here, but there are a few things that are gonna reign true for pretty much everybody, and this is definitely one of them. So doing your research, I'm sure you found out that everything about Thailand is probably completely different than where you're coming from, from the people, to the culture, to the climate, to the food. Now, all these things are gonna make your life super interesting, but they can make them pretty difficult at certain points. Now, a lot about traveling overseas, at least for me, is experience these things and getting a different taste about how lives are lived in different parts of the world. So I have talked about it in some previous videos. Obviously, the food in Thailand is gonna be completely different from Western food. Lots more seafood, lots of rice, obviously. The whole flavor profiles are different. So when you get here, your body is not really gonna be used to Thai food, essentially. Now we kind of have a saying for it here. I'm not really gonna say it. All right, we call it traveler's butt. So when you get here, if you're exclusively eating Thai food, which you should be after a while, if you really wanted to come here and experience Thailand, I definitely recommend you do it. But once you do switch that diet, it's like if you ever had a pet and then all of a sudden you switch their food, it's gonna kind of upset their stomach, right? It's gonna be the same thing when you get here, more than likely. I know a few people that have gotten here and they've been okay, not too big a deal, but when you first get here and you start eating a bunch of different food, your body is gonna respond differently. Now granted, usually this isn't gonna be that big of a deal, a couple weeks and you might be okay, but sometimes it can get much worse. Obviously, if your body is expelling a lot of things, it's easy to get dehydrated, which is also a big problem here in Thailand because of the climate, we'll get to that very soon but you wanna make sure that you're staying hydrated, do your best to take in your electrolytes and realize and try to pay attention to what you're eating and how it affects your body. But that's definitely something to be ready for when you get here. Just be ready to get acquainted with your toilet. Now, of course, don't freak out and don't think that this is gonna be a thing forever, especially if you're living here. Of course, your body is gonna get used to stuff after a while. I do know some people that have come here and they're like, man, like I tried Thai food and it upset my stomach and I couldn't get off the toilet for a whole day and blah, 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 I got food poisoning. It is a thing, it is possible. Food regulations here are a little more lax than they are, especially in America. So it is possible, unfortunately it does happen, but it's not the end of the world. Do your best to pay attention and maybe avoid certain foods that you know are probably gonna upset your stomach. But when you're here for the first few weeks and you're eating a bunch of Thai food, if this does happen to you, don't really lean on that as that's how it's gonna be forever. Once you get used to it, keep giving it some time. Try to mix in some Western food there to try to kind of ease your body into it. 
but after a while, I promise you'll get used to it and don't get a bad taste in your mouth, no pun intended, from Thai food if you get a little bit of water butt when you get here. Now, if my verbiage does seem a little crass and I do seem a little lewd in this video, I apologize. I just feel like this is something that needs full transparency. You're not alone. It pretty much happens to everybody. That's the reason we have a saying for it. And it's not just Thailand. A lot of the times when you go to any new places, you're eating different foods, this is gonna happen. Now, another thing that your body is more than likely not gonna be used to is the heat in Thailand. Another thing you're not gonna be used to is somebody grinding metal everywhere you go all the time, but I'm gonna power through it. If you can't hear it that well, I'm sorry. Go ahead, throw on the subtitles. I auto-generate everything. If you can't really hear it, I know it's annoying, but we gotta get it done. So yes, another thing your body, if you're coming from the West that you're more than likely not gonna be used to is the heat in Thailand. You might have come from a place, you might have come from the desert like me, be a desert rat. Oh, it gets to 115 Fahrenheit, I'll be used to it. Humidity, humidity, humidity. So when you're here, you're not gonna be used to the heat at first. You might be used to just walking around and exploring. You are gonna be sweating all the time. So obviously, hydration is super important. I'm sure you know that when you're dehydrated, you become susceptible to a lot more things. When you're dehydrated, the essence of life, that you need plenty of water at all times, you become dehydrated. You're more susceptible to other things that you might not be used to, which can also set you up to have a bad couple of weeks I know from experience. Now, if you're coming from the West, obviously things are gonna be quite different here when it comes to the climate, to all the little microbes and everything that's floating around in the water. And you probably know already that if you're coming to Thailand, you're going to a new country, it's never safe to drink the tap water, but there's gonna be times where you can't avoid this in the shower, things like that. Stuff's gonna get in your mouth. So there's all this stuff here that you're not used to. It's a breeding ground for a bunch of different stuff that's probably not in your home country. So at some point, you more than likely are gonna get sick. It's more than likely gonna happen in the first few months. It pretty much happens to everybody. Your sinuses and everything are gonna be different. Your allergies, there's all kinds of different pollens and all that stuff here. So you're gonna get sick at some point. The best way to go about it is to try to be preemptive, of course. Make sure you're up on your vitamins. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, like we said, but eventually, you're coming to Thailand, you're moving here. Even if you don't really get sick at home, I never really got sick in the States. Maybe once every couple of years I would get sick. And even then I would just be like a little sinus cold. I've been here for a year and I think I've gotten sick three or four times already. Now granted, I might do some other things in my free time that kind of, you know, bring my immunities down quite a bit. I don't drink enough water sometimes, so that has definitely helped contribute to me getting sick multiple times. But even if you are, even if you do keep up on everything, you're gonna be in a new place, new climate, your body's not gonna be used to it, you more than likely are gonna get sick at some point. Now, one nice thing about Thailand is they are very aware of this. It's not only you, Thais frequently get sick too, just because it's the climate that kind of inhibits it. And also, since it's so hot here, there's places that are just running the air con all the time. So that dries you out and then you go outside and then your sinuses get wet again from all the humidity. So you're just back and forth the whole time. And I'm sure you know that if you're sweaty, then you're cold, then you're sweaty, then you're cold. Obviously, you're probably gonna get sick, but like I said, luckily Thais know this, so lots of medications are available here for colds, you name it. The over-the-counter access to a lot of medications is super easy here. I know, I still got the sniffles, I'm sorry. I know it's not super sexy for the camera, but I gotta do what I gotta do. But over-the-counter meds are much more accessible here. If you walk into a pharmacy and say, hey, I'm feeling this, this, or this, they're, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be able to hook you up. And one nice thing is a lot of the pharmacists actually speak really good English, so they'll be able to point you in the right direction. Medication is very cheap here, which is super nice. So every time you get sick, make sure you go to the pharmacy first, try to get some meds, and then if that doesn't work out for you, then obviously go take yourself to the doctor, go get checked out, make sure everything's okay, but you're gonna have much better access to being able to self-medicate here, which is really convenient. Just remember, it's not that big a deal. Do all these preemptive things to kind of set yourself up for success. And hopefully it doesn't happen to you, but from what I've seen and everybody that I know that's moved here full time, getting sick is a very regular thing. It's gonna take your body a while to acclimate, but don't let that turn you off about Thailand. Don't let that change your mind about Thai food. Don't let that change your mind about living here. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be sweaty. You might get sick every once in a while, but at the end of the day, the rest of it's worth it for sure. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Tempest TV. We are back full time, full swing. So if you'd like to see more and learn more about Thailand, make sure you go down below. Drop a subscribe, like on the video. That way, next time you log in, YouTube knows what you wanna see. 
as always, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you in the next one.